In this video I will tell you the absolute fastest way to level up both your class level and catacombs level. Before that, hi I am Ruli Miney and welcome to my channel where I make regular videos to share everything I know to help you make a better player in Hypixel Skyblock. So consider subscribing for future useful videos like this. Now, I made a video like this a while ago but that strategy was quite generic and outdated. To give you the most up to date info, we will look at three parts of this current strategy. Number 1, the rooms. What you basically need is consistent speed runs. Now players are going for S rank which is 270 points when doing speed runs on any floor. For leveling up classes, we need floor 3 as of now. We will talk about floor 4 at the end of this video. On floor 3 map, you will see brown floors which have most of the mobs, orange trap room, puzzle rooms, and sometimes yellow room for King Midas. Since you will be doing speed runs, 100 points for speed will come easily. If no one dies or fails any puzzle, 100 points for skill will come easily too as far as I have seen. So we are now at 200 points and need 70 more points. I am ignoring bonus points for now. You get 60 points automatically if you just step into each room on map. That means, you can avoid brown rooms entirely after just stepping in and then going out. You don't need to kill all mobs for exploration points. Now we are at 260 points. We need 10 more points and we get S rank. You need 10 secrets for 10 more points which is very easy to get in the whole map. You can leave puzzles like Blaze. But if you try any puzzle, do not fail them. For example you see that you are going to fail tic-tac-toe, do not finish that thing. All these things you are doing to save time. So that you can do more runs per hour and get more catacombs XP per hour. Number 2, Boss Fight. Floor 3 boss fight is very easy to finish quickly. For that you must have high level mages in your team like level 15 plus. Mages do so much damage to anything in dungeons. You take out the guardians within 10 to 15 seconds. Otherwise one of them will regain full health and this will delay the process. Once all guardians are dead, use pigman sword ability or bonzo staff ability to kill the boss. What weapon you choose is up to you, both of them work fine. Just be careful not to die in the last phase of the boss fight. Sometimes, healers get targeted and die so if you see that is going to happen. Teleport away immediately or use any healing item or ability you have. Number 3, the most important part. There is no right and wrong setup of teams but you must have at least 3 mages in your team at all times. Having a healer as 4th player is often very helpful but not necessary. I have done floor 3 speed runs with 5 mages and it works fine too. With 3 mages and a healer, 5th player can be literally anything. But everyone must have good gear and at least 15 level class. For armor, adaptive armor, or bonzo mask with zombie soldier armor pieces work fine. Now two things you need to be careful of. One is sometimes you can face a shadow assassin inside the trap room where you can not use abilities. That is rare and very unlucky. The only way to deal with it is. Try to hit the shadow assassin from outside the trap room and let him walk out of that trap room. Inside the trap room, he will try to push you into traps which is not a good idea. Second thing is, sometimes you may find that the speedrun was so quick. You did not reach your third damage milestone. That means you will get less class XP. In that case, either try to find the spider pit in your floor and kill spiders to reach the damage milestone. If there is no spider pit and all floors are cleared, blow up all the tombs you can find and do damage to them instead. Now about floor 4. J.A. Varman posted this on Twitter which is believed to be a picture of floor 4 boss fight. Now. Each floor 3 gives almost 390 class XP so if you manage to do floor 3 in 6 minutes, you will get 3900 XP per hour. That is very fast. But I am guessing floor 4 will give anywhere between 900 and 1500 class XP per match. So then all we need to find out is how to kill the boss the fastest way possible and the rest of this strategy should remain the same. Just to imagine, 
if floor 4 is done in 6 minutes and gives 1000 XP per match, you get 10,000 class E XP per hour. That would be insane. If you think I missed anything, tell me in the comments. And did you get recombobulators while doing speed runs? Let me know. Thanks for watching, I will see you in my next video, peace.